It's a lovable community. It's a lot of spots for growth. It's a lot of spots for love. But what I think it is, we're not loving our community like we should. I mean, if we put more effort into the east side community like they do Stone Oak or they do City Base in the communities, we'll be all right. You know, and all my life I lived here. So one thing about it, it's a lot of, it's, it's a lot of room for improvement and growth. And we just got to get it. We got to get the councilman to step up and, you know, come together with like the city, uh, the city leaders, neighborhood associations, San Antonio fighting back. And I mean, we can make this work, you know, if they really just come together and put it together. If someone was reading this and they're like, why is there so much violence on the east side? Why, why is this happening? Like, what would you tell them? I would just tell them it's just not enough um, activities for the guys to do. They're just running loose. Half of them don't go to school. There's no jobs. There's no trades. There's nobody coming and getting them and say, hey, guys, you know, hey, I got this job offer for y'all. Only thing I need you to do is come, do the application, do the background check, drug test. Even if they don't know how to do an application, teach them how to do it. Go step by step, because half of these guys just dropped out of school at eight, at, 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 at eight grade. You know, they don't even know how to get on a computer. They don't even know how to start a computer. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a lot that they could um, probably help out with. You know, until they do that, it's going to always be crimes on each side. You know, you got to have the cops visible. You got to have the cops walk through, shake their hand. Hey, man, how could I help y'all? What could I do for y'all? Is there anything that y'all want to do that I can help y'all do? And I'm quite sure they'll sit down and tell them. It's, you know, only thing they know is drugs and fast money. That's all they know. Do you think the East Side's going to change? At this point, I could lie to you, but I'm not. I'm going to be honest with you. Not at this point, though, no, because they don't know a difference. They don't have no clue on what's going on in the world because the only thing they know is getting up in the morning, going, setting up on their trap, selling drugs, smoking weed, going home and doing the same thing every day which that it's a, it's a better way to do life. You know, we just have to approach them, attack them, and tell them, hey guys, it's, it's other things to do but sitting on this corner giving your life away. And that's all they're gonna do. They're either gonna get killed or they're gonna get a, or they're gonna get a drug case. So if we go in there and approach them with that, if we can win two out of 20 or one out of 15, we good, we accomplished. But until then, as long as we let them set up and do that, let somebody come by and do drive-bys, one other black kid is dead, that's all it is. You know, so we as a community, we as the councilman, we all we all have to get together and come together and do this. Until then, it's a no, it's a no win situation. And, and that's just the way the East Side gonna be until we approach the problem.